What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sneaky. We're also known as Mom and All. And if you don't know this, it probably means that you're not subscribed down below or that you're not following me on Instagram. And I suggest that you do both. Especially if you're about being a super mom, super being in your life and also about making super smart financial moves. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I managed to save over half a million rand. I'm going to try to put everything in this video and then if you guys have more questions on any of the items that I talk about, then you guys can ask me on the comments down below and I'll maybe do a video on whatever particular topic that you guys want to focus on. So one day I woke up and I was like, hey boo. If you actually add that account that account, I've actually saved up about over half a million rand. Now that was shocking to me, but I'll tell you how I did it. So first things first guys, it's always about obviously income, how much you're making. So for me, it's obviously money from my job, but I also do a lot of side hustles. I call myself the side hustle queen because I would do makeup for people. I do braids. I was selling weaves. At some point, I, book, I, I was translating scripts from English to Isizulu because luckily I did two home languages for matric. So this is Zulu and English so now I was using my skills to actually make myself more money so as much as you can have your job always have multiple streams of income and I've also earned royalties on certain items that I've made here on YouTube so I've had quite a few things that have helped me actually grow my income because the first thing you want to focus on is obviously having a lot of income because when you have income in then you can save because if you think about it if you have never accumulated let's say over half a million rand then it means you can't save that much because you've never had it as an income so you have to have quite a lot of money coming in and that for me means being productive with your time having side hustles making money online i enter competition Competitions. Some of them I win. Like just the other week, I won a 400 rand voucher competition. It's just basically try to capitalize on your skills. There'll always be something that someone doesn't want to do that you can maybe do and then they can pay you for. So that's basically one of the things that has helped me with also gaining my side hustles. But as I mentioned, obviously people can get lots of money and then not keep any of it because they use it. So here are some of my key principles. So I always pay myself first. Standard, when that money comes in, I always pay myself first and I have a base minimum 20%. That's how much will always go into my savings based on whatever paycheck I receive. That is just non-negotiable. It's just how I live. And if you guys want more detail on why I do that, I'll let you guys know and you can let me know down below. I also have never compromised on my tithing. I believe it's important to always give like 10% of your income. So that must not change. You need to, I, I, I believe that personally, in a nutshell, tithing kind of covers always an insurance for me, covers my life, it sustains me. Because there's a verse where it says, locusts won't eat your crop. So you find that you're making money, but all of a sudden your taps are breaking, your roof is leaking. So as much as money is coming in, you've got things to attend to. So for me, I believe that my tithing actually helps such that I don't have these locusts that are eating at my crops. So I even my clothes I have to actually give them away like on a constant basis because they don't grow old or tear I just feel like I'm constantly covered so that's my belief and that's one of the things that has also helped me and I, if I fail to mention that I feel like I won't be mentioned I will be leaving out a huge factor because it is kind of an insurance that just protects my life exactly like how I'm just mentioning it now and also I've also make sure that I don't I live be, be my means and I also did a video where I mentioned to you guys that I accelerated my car payments I paid off my car early and after having paid off my costs I didn't now make sure that hi hey, now I have this additional amount that I was going towards my car installment to spend no I channeled that exact amount into my savings into my savings on a monthly 
I continued on as if I still have a car that I'm owing instead of now upgrading my life and getting a fancier phone or whatever other expense that's what I did so one thing I always focus on is keeping my expenses low as low as possible and making sure that I have a lot of money coming in also at the end of the month guys just before the day before payday i always look what's left in my account so when and then i see okay that's how much i should transfer over to my savings i don't just say yay i can spend it no so whenever now when i get paid on payday i make sure that i transfer whatever was left whether it's 500 rands or a thousand rands or more i just transfer that to my savings and that just helps me to always grow my bank account and one of the other ways that oh and one of the other ways that I do save money is also by capitalizing on those cashback points ah, guys <laughs> one of the other ways that I save money is that I capitalize on those cashback items so I'll make sure that I fill up at certain gas stations because I'm getting cashback and I actually appreciate the ones that I give you cashback because obviously it's money in my bank account and I always save every cent no money is immaterial for example I was home for December holidays at some point quite a few years ago actually and my mom gave my sister and I a hundred rand to spoil ourselves <laughs> and I didn't take the money and put it and use it no i actually transferred 100 rand from my save from my check account to my savings account so that i know if i spend this 100 rand i know that i've actually saved it in my mind so i always make sure that i save every single cent that i get over and above whatever it is that i expected to get because if i didn't budget to get that income then why am i spending it i might as well channel it into my savings so that's one key thing that i do and also with cashback points guys i make sure that i spend at the places so that i can accumulate all these points and with certain items or certain expenses i make sure that okay for example if i, I wanted to gift someone a cell phone in a member of my family so i just bought it with those points because that's how much i accumulated and then some of the points are also put into my savings account so if ever there's an ordinary expense like buying a phone is a random expense not something that i always do so when there's an extraordinary expense like that i make sure that i try find a way of financing it other than financing it from my salary because obviously now that's taking me out of my budget yes that's the other thing i make sure that i try to budget all my money i know how much is coming in then i budget how much is gonna go out and whatever is left obviously i i i also save what's left from spending but in my budget i budget for my savings account i don't just budget for expenses only i put myself first and also if something is um, if I'm going to make a huge purchase like I don't know a car or house or something big I always look at is it gonna distort my ratio of this is my income this is my tithing this is my 20% savings if it's gonna distort that then it means I can't afford it then I let it go and <laughs> wait and until I can afford it Another thing that really helped me was to actually limit access to my accounts and not put all my eggs in one account. So I had some accounts where I've got limited access, that 32 day notice account and it actually just helps because it means that you don't always have access to it but you can obviously put in a notice if ever you're going to do something major. Like for example when I was saving up to do a major project at home then obviously I put in a notice then I could take some money out and use that but having the money in different accounts just helps you so that you can get different um, interest rates but also just be careful because if you scatter your money too much you'll find that you actually can't get to a higher interest rate bracket because sometimes there's tears to these interest rates the more money you have the higher the interest rate so that's one of the things and another form of income that actually really guys grew my income is actually 
um, interest income because you'll find that now you're getting interest of more than a thousand rand every month and that interest obviously capitalizes on your savings account and then you get even more interest on top of that even more and more and more and that's the beauty of compound interest so that's one of the things that also helped me generate more income with my money and also I tried investing later on because I realized that no man I'm saving so much at some point you need to invest so I've also invested some of my money I'm fairly a beginner when it comes to investing but I can share you guys beginner friendly information if that's what you guys want obviously let me know on the comment section another important thing is that i don't necessarily allow people to sell things to me but i shop for things and it's so important to always ask yourself was i looking for this is this something that i need or was i shopping for it or is this just being sold to me and i'm taking it because if you are a taker you'll just be sold things that are not even in line with anything that you want or with your goals so that's um one of the things that also helps me in my journey one other major item which <laughs> if I was not to mention it would also be irresponsible of me but I married someone who has a similar mindset to me or similar financial goals with me so I'm not married to someone who's like YOLO let's go out and drink all our money on Friday and we'll work it again Monday to Friday no so I married someone who's responsible and has similar financial goals as me and that has really helped me because now he He's not deterring me from my financial goals but in fact he's encouraging me and actually <laughs> helping me along so that's one of the things that's important because sometimes who you partner with in life can really send you on a different tangent I don't want to start preaching now but guys it's really important who you surround yourself with and also one of the things that really helped me oh guys this video is never gonna end one of the things that also really helped me is getting financial knowledge and staying motivated because you don't need to get motivation on what to spend on as soon as you scroll down your phone you see fancy sneakers that people are wearing you see fancy cars you see fancy apartments you see fancy everything but you don't necessarily see people's bank accounts and people saying oh I'm saving on this I'm not doing this no people don't share that because we all want to act comfortable like we have money and we're spending it and it's all good but I just acquainted myself with YouTube channels and with people who actually want to achieve financial freedom so when I watch those videos I always feel motivated that's why I actually wanted to add this segment to my mom and all channel because it's so important and it's so close to my heart and the main thing is to always live within your means whenever you get an increase at work don't now increase your expenses as well keep your expenses to a minimal if ever you get an increase then great it doesn't mean that you always have to think of what to spend that money on and whenever if I was getting bonuses or different things that work I'll always just be like save 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 invest save invest that's always been my philosophy and guys this is actually quite possible to do because I was I still lived my life I still got married um, had kids obviously you pay, you pay for a wedding you pay for kids and you guys know in our black cultures there's lots of pre-wedding events as well and obviously I was invested in those items as well and I still help out at home so these I still spend my money it's not that all of it goes towards savings but I just know that sometimes money easily leaks out of your, our budgets because of our spending habits and these are some of the items that I've done to help me save over half a million so let me know what are your saving strategies because maybe I could implement one or two so that I can grow and secure my bag you know so this video has been a mouthful and if you guys want clarity on any of the items let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys and I will see you guys next time bye